Evil Guys. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Sanuka Attack. This game is a puzzle platformer with a twist of billiards or pool. It is published by East Asia Soft and it was developed by Knox. It just released for $4.99. On top of that, it's an easy 5 to 6 minute completion or platinum trophy. So, yeah, $5, 5 minutes. 1000 G. I know it sounds good to you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, most of our achievements or trophies are related to level progression. Ultimately, we need to complete the first 12 levels of the game to get the full 1000 G. Besides that, all we need to do is hit 12 switches and hit 40 balls. You'll get both of these naturally. If we take a look at the controls, we can control our pool cue by pressing RB and we can jump using LB. That's pretty much all you need to know to play the game. So let's go ahead and dive into it. We're going to start with level one. As I mentioned before, we're going to be completing the first 12 levels. You will knock an achievement every other level. Now, in order to be able to exit a level, you need to hit all the switches in the level. You do this by playing a little bit of pool or billiards and using your pool cue to hit the switch or hit the ball into the switch. That's going to complete the first level. That's going to unlock our achievement called Level Master 1 worth 40 gamer score. Next, we're going to dive into level two. In this one, we're going to have to press a few switches. We're gonna start off with this one right here. That should unlock your next achievement. This one called Switch Hero 1 for hitting a switch two times. Next, we need to hit the other switch on the roof. Now, if you didn't notice already, you can charge up your pool cue. You don't necessarily need to tap it. I found that I would usually charge it, jump, and then hit. I also want to point out that the ball slowly moves over time so sometimes you just want to wait for it to move a little bit so you can get it perfectly lined up and there we go that's going to be all three switches in this level that's going to unlock our next achievement worth another 40 gamer score this one being the ball hitter one achievement for hitting the ball six times you should also unlock the level master two achievement worth another 40 gamer score for beating level two now let's go ahead and dive into level three so in this one, we're going to have to jump to the right of this ball, charge up your Q and hit it into that switch, and then you can go ahead and exit the level. That one's nice and easy. You're going to unlock another achievement called Level Master 3 for beating level 3. Next, we're going to move on to level 4. This one's nice and simple as well. You simply want to hit the white ball into the colored ball. The colored ball is going to end up hitting the switch, and you need to do this four times going to unlock your achievement for hitting a switch six times and that's about it for this one just make sure that you hit all four switches and then the door is going to open and we can go ahead and exit the level unlocking our next achievement called level master four worth 80 gamer score for beating level four next we are on to level five in level five we are simply going to hit the first ball diagonally into that box up there and then we're going to charge up our Q, jump and hit this one downward you want to make sure that you don't fall down into the pit otherwise you're going to have to start the level over again i almost fell in right there and there we go that's going to complete that level nice and easy that's the level master five achievement worth another 80 gamer score and next we have level six level six is pretty easy as well we're going to charge up our queue jump up and hit the ball into the area and that's about it for those and then hit this one to the right and you're going to be able to exit the level unlocking another easy achievement. That one is the level master six achievement worth another 80 gamer score. On to level seven. In level seven, we're going to hit the ball into the colored one right here. Try to get the colored one into the square on the right hand side. That should unlock the ball hitter two achievement for hitting a ball 20 times. Next, you wanna hit that one into the switch and you'll be able to exit the level. There's actually no achievement related to beating level seven and nine. At this point, we're only going to get them every other level. For this one, you have to be careful that you don't hit the ball above these uh, switches. Otherwise, if it gets trapped in that area above, you're going to need to restart the level. You can restart the level by pressing the select button. So yeah, in this one, just make sure that you're being patient because again, you don't wanna get the ball too high where it gets trapped up there or it's too high for you to hit. So I wouldn't charge it up too much. In this one, I was just tapping the Q button rather than charging it up. I know, you know, it took a while because it's a little slow this way, but it's the quickest way to beat the level. Otherwise, you're going to keep trying over and over again because your ball is getting trapped up there. Now, after you press all four switches, you need to hit the ball up into the top area. That's going to open up the door. You just have to make sure that you don't put it in that top area until you press all four switches. 
that's going to unlock our next achievement related to level progression this one worth 80 gamer score for completing level 8. now in this next one you need to be fairly quick you need to hit the ball and then run through that first door and then wait for it to hopefully move into this second box where your second door will open and you'll be able to complete this level and as i mentioned before we have no achievement or trophy related to completing level 9. In this one, we're going to jump up, charge up our Q, and hit the balls into the area below. That is except for this last one. With this last one, you have to hit it into the switch to the right first, and then we're going to put it down in the slot below. There we go. We got the switch, and we just need to move it a little bit to the left. Not too hard. Make sure that you don't charge it. We're just going to tap it a couple times, and then we can charge it downward. There we go. That's going to complete this next level. You should unlock another achievement. This is our next achievement related to level progression. This one for completing level 10. That's going to be worth another 80 gamer score. At this point, we only have two more levels, guys. In this level, the ball actually has gravity, so you're going to have to skip it upward to hit both of the switches, and then we're going to finish the level. Still pretty easy. No achievement on that one. We're only going to have one more achievement related to level progression, and that is for completing level 12 going to hit that one up to the right and this one up to the left at this point you should be unlocking your last achievement or trophy this one worth our last 80 gamer score giving us that full 1000 gamer score let's just double check there we go 1000 out of 1000 and it only took about five and a half minutes other than that i'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my patreon subscribers we just hit 20 patrons i'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club including tim g84 AOJ, Blackbird, and Kegger101. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.